Okay, a little quick informational video for you guys. As you may know, Project Stairs Update 1.5 is coming out tomorrow. And we got some new sneaks in the Discord server that I can show you guys. Now, this video isn't going to be a long video. It's just a little short informational video for you guys. Right now, I'm pretty busy cooking up two to three videos for tomorrow. And I'll also be streaming and maintenance for tomorrow's update. So just go on ahead and look out for that. So first, I want to start with some new stuff that they posted in the Discord server. And you might have already seen this today if you check the Discord server. This one isn't new, but it's relatively new. And she posted this two days ago. So the Nezuko seal box is going off sale and you'll be able to purchase it with in-game ores. Now, for the people who actually spent 5,000 Robux for a literal Nezuko sealed box, you'll have a title named Nezuko's best friend. Now, the title itself is pretty boring and I'm pretty sure people will get mad if it literally does nothing but like a flex. It's not really a flex, you know? So the title comes with a unique emote dance, which will come after 1.5 and 5% all mastery gain and 25% XP gain. So you get an XP buff and a mastery buff, which is pretty cool. Now, if this is worth 5,000 Robux to you, you can go on ahead and purchase the Nezuko sealed box game pass before it goes off sale on Friday's update. And then she also said she adjusted uh, the buffs, which hopefully it's more than what it is now. I hope she didn't nerf the buffs. If she nerfed the buff, it yeah, yeah it wouldn't be worth it. Because remember, 5,000 Robux is about $50 for you guys. I'm pretty sure 98% of you guys watching aren't devs. And if you are devs, you're very small devs that doesn't get a lot of robux so you have to spend usd to get the robux right and that's 50 dollars now if you're a dev 5,000 robux is you know relatively low it's not that much but if you're not a developer 50 or sorry 5,000 robux is like 50 dollars now if you're going to sneaks as you can see we have some new drip fits we have new hours you have new mask and we also i think have a uh, a different scythe that you can get which this is, looks amazing this this is just beautiful and the encyclopedia is completely revamped it looks way better than what it was before i'm so glad that they did this and as you can see we have some polar fans so we're getting like different types of drips in the game and different types of skins um for weapons in the game which is pretty cool but yes the new encyclopedia looks a lot more amazing and uh visually appealing Healing. and then of course we have trading in the game which he sneaked like two days ago twitter quality sucks but this is practically uh the trading map and uh yeah it kind of is a typical trading map reminds me of gpo it's nothing really special the trading in the game looks straightforward you know you basically just like select an active trader you can send requests they have a list of active traders in the server and you can also like set up hosts so you can basically post like hey i've got a, a health elixir or i'm looking for doma fans and you can basically like post stuff here and you can filter through the shouts so to me this is one of the best trading systems in any robust game i've ever seen better than gpo it's just well organized and it looks pretty straightforward and easy to uh easy to trade and if you're looking for a specific item you can filter through shouts and you can find somebody with that item so yes it's pretty cool so noxy said max level isn't 275 that is just a placeholder value new dance emotes game pass coming so we're gonna have a game pass that has like new dances and stuff like that it's probably gonna range from like 100 to 150 uh, robux so it shouldn't be that expensive but it looks pretty cool so if you have a little extra robux you can go ahead and buy that moving on like i said before earlier on in this video we're getting some new drips and new skins for uh certain weapons now i don't know if this is gonna to be a part of the devour set as you guys may know they're adding a devour set to the game which the only way to get devour items is by crafting it so there's gonna be different multiple devour items that you can craft there's gonna be weapons you can craft there's gonna be horrors you can craft there's gonna be probably masses you can craft right basically devour sets and um i'm not too sure about like the masses and stuff but i know 100 percent there's going to be weapons and once you craft these weapons you'll be able to level them up by just basically killing npcs and uh, regular players and the more kills you get with the devour items the stronger they become i think it has a maximum of three upgrades and I, and once you on the third upgrade it's like maxed out and i think the devour weapons will be like the best weapons in the game once it's fully upgraded so yeah now i can't tell you what items you need to craft said devour weapons because i don't know if that has been publicly leaked but i'm probably gonna make a video on it tomorrow i'm still figuring out some stuff before i actually record that video because i don't want to spread misinformation moving on as you can see we have the devour fans i'm pretty sure this is you know most of the devour items have like blood effects and stuff like that so i wouldn't be surprised if these are the devour fans just like this is probably the devour scythe and uh uh, we're getting a uh, rengoku's cape which was actually supposed to be added in update one when they added rengoku and flame breathing i don't know why they didn't add, um add this but it's finally getting added to the game and yeah it's pretty pretty cool we have some art sneaks as you can see from noxy so this is probably going to be the icon for rengoku's cape the icon for the blood scythe and the icon for the ice scythe and then we have some sneaks with the models without all the cool effects and stuff like that so um yes these look cool and amazing i really 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 love this one over here like this one's pretty cool and then we have 
with like a nice eyes version to it on the right so yeah i hope the scarf is animated <laughs> i hope i hope they really animate that so just a little quick update video on what's being added tomorrow we already know we're getting doma's bda which is ice bda we're also getting sound breathing and we're also getting a breathing called snow breathing which isn't canon i'm pretty sure it's a fan-made breathing but yes we're, we're getting we're getting good stuff also we're getting new bosses obviously and some new areas to uahana to just extend the update a little bit more and to add like places for the new bosses and stuff like that one of the biggest things coming in this update is also trading so i'm very curious to see what the new level cap is going to be as you can see i'm only level 101 so i really do need to grind to the max level that it is right now so i can actually you know grind to the new level cap and with the new level cap there's probably going to be a new mastery cap as well but that being said that's all i have to share to you guys for today make sure you guys like subscribe and i'm going to be posting some of some videos tomorrow on on the update day i'm also going to be streaming make sure you guys follow my twitch because i'm streaming there regularly now or at least trying to i appreciate all of your support thank you guys for tuning in i'm gonna see you guys tomorrow on update day <laughs> jigalooki bagargly <laughs> jigalooki bagargly <laughs> uh, well, let me stop i'm sorry